Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how to download an R package that doesn't come preloaded in the base installation. So in order to do this, we can do it two ways actually. Let me first increase the font size so that you can follow what I'm doing. I can type the command install.packages and in quotes put the name of the package. So here's where you put the name of the package. Hit enter and then you'll be asked to choose a location for the server that you'll actually download from. So uh, I recommend choosing from uh, a location that's closest to you physically. Okay, so let me see if there's a package I can install here that I don't already have. So we can say our wave. Let's say I'm pretty sure I don't have this. Yeah. So, you see, this is what I mean. You have to choose a location for the mirror that you're going to install from. Mirrors are just servers that contain the same file, so you have options. So, I'm in the Northeast, so I would choose maybe Pennsylvania, Indiana, something like this. If I hit OK, it'll take me through the installation process, and then I'll have the package. I don't need to do this again, though. Okay, so it's a one time thing. So, let me cancel that. Let me show you the other way, which uses the menu more. Okay, so go to packages up here, and then install package. Here you'll actually find the package that you need after you've found chosen a mirror. So let's choose Pennsylvania. Okay. And then here we go. So these are all the packages that are available. I think last I checked there's about 6,200 packages that are written for all variety of uh, functionality. Okay. So the one we were looking for was R Wave. So let's see if we could find it. It's alphabetical, thankfully. R Wave. There we go. Okay, and I would click OK, and that will also initiate the installation process. Okay, so I don't want to install that. All right, hit cancel now. You would hit OK. Okay, now once you have the package installed, every time that you use, you want to use that package in an, in an R session, you would have to first require that package. So this is where you would, this is a command you would need to use the name of the package here. So for us, you don't have to put this in quotes. So for us, let's say R wave. I would write this, hit enter, and I don't have this downloaded, so it sh I should get an error message. Right? Yeah, warning, I don't have this package, right? So this, but if I did have this package, I would get nothing here. Right? This wouldn't be here. And now I could use the contents of this package i.e. the functions, data sets, and objects it has. Okay. Another way to do this is to use the library command. This does the same thing. Okay. This command and this command will load a package that you have previously installed. And you would do this when, you want, when and if you want to use the particular package. Okay. So I hope this was helpful. Until next time, make sure to watch the subsequent videos and have a great day.